My name is Takayuki Ueda. I'm a university student. At our school, it is customary to join a research lab in your third year. So I was excited to start the archaeology lab that I had dreamed of joining for so long. Whoa! How did you manage to get into the lab? There are only female students there, and it's rumored that you need to be pretty to join too. Really? I had no idea. You didn't look up any reviews beforehand? I was only interested in the professor there, so... Well, from what I've heard, the assistant professor that pretty much runs the lab only accepts good-looking girls to the lab. Lucky you, going to be surrounded by all these beautiful ladies. Well, wouldn't it just be awkward with no other guys around? Well, that's true too. I've heard that that assistant professor doesn't take nicely to male students. Let's hope you get your credits okay. On the first day at the lab, I was in fact the only guy there. On top of that, everyone there was either really cute or pretty. And the girls that only good-looking girls get accepted seems to be true. The lab students were surprised to see me there. And the assistant professor that had supposedly selected me was also looking surprised, checking the name list over and over again. The students there were whispering amongst themselves, and did not look welcoming in the least. Anyway, we split up according to our research topics, and started off with a self-introduction. I'm Yuko Watanabe, a senior here. Takayuki, I see you made it to this lab. Honestly, I didn't think you would. <laughs> nice to see you. I already know Yuka from the school club. She was the one that told me that it was going to be tough to get into the archaeology lab. But I had no idea she was saying so because of my gender. I'm Shiori Nakamura, a junior. Um, I'm in the same year as you, but I guess we've never really crossed paths. I hope to get to know you better. Same to all the seniors here. Shiori is known in our department as the pretty girl. That guys rumor about from time to time, some guys might get jealous of me for having this opportunity to get to know her better. I'm Saki Maruyama, a senior as well. I can't believe a guy is joining this lab. I chose this lab specifically because it was all girls. Oh, I'm glad I have you here though, Shiori. Um, I guess I'm sorry. I apologized without thinking after being berated by a beautiful woman. That could just as well be a model. Since then, the lab activities started up and we studied together in the library and talked about our research. I collected some books that may be of use to us. Ah, uh, thanks. You really need a man to do the heavy lifting around here. Just carrying books is heavy lifting. And the books you brought actually look useful. Even though we're in the same grade, you're so much smarter than I am, Takayuki. I have no idea what books would be useful to our studies. You can work on that from now on, so don't worry Shiori, he just wants to show off in front of some girls, I bet. No, I wasn't. I don't think he would have been able to bring these books with just a shallow thought of trying to impress us. You think so? Well, there are some set books that are of use, so it's not that special. He might be of use to us during our dirty work during our field trip. Oh, the field work. I'm really looking forward to it. We will be digging at actual archaeological sites, right? Yep, we do this every year at our lab. We go to the site and stay over multiple nights to dig. Me too. I joined this lab because I wanted to go on the field work. I see. So you were looking forward to an overnight trip with a bunch of girls? I didn't mean it like that. And it was the day of the field work. But it was already off to a rough start. Huh? Takayuki is in the same room as us? It looks like it was an error on the hotel's end. If it was an error, can they do anything about it? Of course I had asked at the front desk if there were any vacant rooms, but they said they were completely blocked. Well, it's not that big of an issue. It's hard to believe that a nerdy boy like him would do anything to us. <laughs> I appreciate your trust in me. Anyway, in return for their mistake, the hotel is treating us to a dinner. I I guess I'll do. The field work only starts tomorrow, so let's enjoy ourselves in the hot spring tonight. Oh, it looks like you can choose your Yukata design here. It's all so cute. Hey, we're going to get ready to go to the hot spring, so look away. Y yes ma'am. It all happened to end up like this. But I have absolutely no intention of making a move on anyone here. I don't. But once I return back to the room from my bath, 
I had to be in the same room as these girls in their yukatas after their bath too. I didn't know where to look, and I was trying hard not to look too awkward. Just to make my vision a little bluer, I took off my glasses. Once we were back from the dining hall, we came back to our room to see that futong had been laid out, flushed right next to each other. So now we were fussing about who was going to sleep where. I I can't sleep this close to Takayuki. Oh well, then I don't mind sleeping next to him. Oh, it's not that. It's not that I don't want to, but I mean, does it really matter who sleeps where in this situation? How about we just have him pull his food and over to the corner of the room? Um, I really don't mind sleeping in the corner, so don't mind me. I feel bad for shooing you away to a cold part of the room, so don't worry and sleep over here. Well, but Saki doesn't seem to be comfortable with that. Why are you making me out to be the bad guy? Do as you wish. It's not like I hate you or anything. Well then, I'll sleep next to Takayuki, right? Huh? Oh, you took the spot next to him. Mm -hmm. Did you say something, Yuka? N no, nothing. I mean, you look totally different without your glasses, Takayuki. You look kind of cool. You could start wearing contacts regularly. I've secretly known that you were cool from the beginning. Hmm. I really don't mind sleeping in the corner, though. And this is how I ended up spending a sleepless night. Lying there near three beautiful girls, the archaeological fieldwork began the next day. It is normal to not find anything of significance in archaeological digs like this, especially in a site like this where they allow just us students to dig. Most of the research has already been completed, but this day, a miracle happened. I need to confirm with the teachers, but I feel like this artifact might be an incredible find. Yes, not only is it preserved well, but I don't think anyone has seen artifacts with this type of design around here. We might have hit the jackpot. We rushed to contact the research lab. The assistant professor came running over upon hearing the news. This is an amazing find. Yuka, Saki, Shiori, good work. You are the students I had seen potential in. You are set to continue your fieldwork for another few days, right? You can continue on with it. Meanwhile, I'll take this back to the lab and look into it further. Thank you. Oh, what if this ends up being one of the finds that ends up on textbooks? That would be like a dream. We were all so worked up and happy. But all that changed the next day. We saw in the news that our findings had been taken credit by the assistant professor. We cut our trip short, and we all went in to file a complaint with the assistant professor. That's so cruel. You know that we had found and booked the site ourselves. She's right. You had nothing to do with this project. Calm down. The student's work is that of the labs, thus making it mine. So don't make such a fuss about it. Uh, well, I can try to get your names mentioned in the report, just a tiny bit. If you are care to join me for a meal, if you know what I mean. Oh. And I don't need any guys. I haven't included you in the numbers anyway. You you can't do this. I'll tell on you to the school. Are you sure you want to do that? Your graduation is up to me, you know. No. All right. End of conversation. We're still only juniors, but I feel really bad for the seniors. Um, everyone. If it's all right, can I take over this issue? I promise I won't do you any harm. A few days later, I had done all of the preparations and went set to meet the assistant professor again. Of course, with everyone from the lab with me. Are you sure you have no intention of rightfully giving us the credit for our find? Like I said, if you can show me how serious you are, I can slightly mention some of the girl's name, but the credit is mine. I don't want to resort to threatening you back, but you'll be in a tight situation if you don't accept the truth. Huh? I have reviewed your thesis. For example, this one. You have taken credit for students' findings, just like you did this time. This one. You went as far as to rebury to dig it up again yourself, didn't you? This is fabrication. There are many other similar crimes you've committed. You mention all this as if it is facts, but you have no evidence. Who would the public believe? A student like you or a teacher like me? They'll believe me. I've done all of these reviews with the professor of this lab. Huh? Why would the professor do anything like that? 
He is busy teaching at a different school. He shouldn't have any time to do anything for this lab. To tell you the truth, the professor of this lab is my uncle. I have known him ever since I was little, and we were still very close. That's why you made it into this lab, even though I didn't approve you. The professor had been suspicious of your research lab from a while ago, and I was sent into this lab to see you work from a student's perspective as well. It was easy to find all your wrongdoings. I have all of your inappropriate speech recorded from the other day as well. No! Can't you persuade him that it was all just a misunderstanding? I promise to make it up to you. Unfortunately, I can't have incorrect research findings left unrevised. You should know that if you have worked up to be an assistant professor, right? Drats. So you'll admit that these findings are not yours, but ours. Yeah, I suppose I have to. With that in mind, I still can't overlook the forgery of your past research. So the professors are already looking into this matter. I just thought you should know. And that's how the assistant professor had been let go of his position due to his many wrongdoings from the past. His trust has been completely lost. So I'm sure he won't be able to work in this field anymore. Now it's time for field work again. Let's all hope this time it will be without any issues. The assistant professor isn't around anymore, so we should be fine. Um, the hotel had failed to separate our rooms again. <laughs> That's on purpose. Huh? After that incident, I fell for you, Takayuki. You were so cool. I felt like you deserve some credit for that too. So I guess it's good for us to get to know each other a bit better by staying in the room. Hey, you two. I've liked Takayuki way before any of. Do you mind if I sleep next to you again? It's my turn. There's two people that can sleep next to Takayuki, so I guess one of us is getting left out. We have a few nights here, so do you want to take turns? Don't go on with this conversation without me. The assistant professor that recruits only girls is gone, so I hope we can get a decent amount of guys to join us next year. <laughs> Rino, you still got bedhead in the back. Huh? I'm sure I checked. Well, it's just a little. Tomorrow, I'll check for you before you leave home. Okay. Hey, is that Kaori-san? Wow, she's beautiful as ever. Yeah, she's so pretty. I can't keep my eyes off her. As usual, my sister is super popular. My name is Rino Mamiya. Walking next to me is Kaori, my sister who goes to the same high school as me. Although we should have similar genetics, only my sister is popular at all times. Good morning. As I was quietly pouting, a young man, Ren Oshima, ran up from behind and caught up next to my sister. He is a childhood friend of my sister. Good morning, Ren. Did you oversleep again? Yeah, and I see you're still popular. What is he grinning for? Seeing Ren's sloppy face makes me a little frustrated again. How can you be so predictable? How crazy can you be about my sister? Ren is the reason why I get so annoyed by my sister's popularity. Because I like Ren that is in love with my sister. Well then, Rino. See you later. See you. Yeah, again. I parted way with those two who were in upper grades. And as I head to the classroom alone, I let out a huge sigh. <sighs> Ren still looked so happy as he left. Ren is cool, but I'll never be good as my sister. As that thought crosses my mind, I sigh again. But I like him. Ren and my sister are childhood friends, so Ren has been coming over to our house for a long time. Hello. Welcome. Welcome. Hello, Reno chan Yes, here are some donuts for you. Oh, thank you. Haha, <laughs> you're welcome. It's great you can say your thank yous. Ren strokes my head as he says that. Like this, every time he came over, Ren gave me sweets and gently stroked my head. Ren is a kind brother. That was about all I felt as an elementary school student. However, one day, when I was in junior high school, something happened that changed my view of him. Wh what do you want? 
Your sister really makes me sick. She gets special treatment just because she's pretty. I'll teach you a lesson before you end up like her. Huh? Ah! Some of my sister's classmates laughed and watched me sit in the fountain I was pushed into. I was in the verge of crying from fear and anxiety. Haha, <laughs> good riddance. What are you doing? Ren ran in from the entrance of the park. Hey you, this is a criminal offense. Oh shoot, his dad's the head of the police, right? Yeah, and he's close with the teacher too. Let's run away. Right. The girls run off in the opposite direction that Ren was coming from. I have video evidence so I will be reporting this. Ren shouts at their back as they run away, but they just kept running. At all. Rino-chan, are you okay? Injury? Oh... Ren's face flushed red as he pulled me up from the fountain. As I looked down at myself to see what happened, because my clothes were all soaked, my underwear was completely visible through my shirt. Here, put this on for now. Thank you. I quickly covered my chest with the jacket he handed to me. Ren sees me like this and flushes red again. Well, that aside, you still... Huh? I can see your bare legs from under your wet skirt. Oh no, nothing. Anyway, I'll walk you home. Oh, okay. My legs did feel cold, but there wasn't anything I could do, so I quietly walked next to Ren. You're cold, aren't you? I hope you don't catch a cold. Oh, I suddenly remembered what had happened earlier, and suddenly my body began to tremble. Rino-chan, are you alright? Um, yeah, I... I... Yeah, it was scary. Ren gently hugs my trembling body. It's alright now, I will protect you. Okay. I can't forget his words and body heat from that day. I mean, Ren was really like a prince to me then. Looking up at the sky from my classroom, I look back on those days. <sighs> I want to go out with Ren. But it bothered me to remember how happy he looks when he's talking with my sister. One day, all right, I've thrown out the garbage. After school, I finished throwing out the garbage and headed back to the classroom from the backyard. I saw Ren standing behind the tree with my sister, and without thinking, I hid behind the tree as well. He looks serious. Is this... I like you, Kaori. Huh? I knew it. Ren likes my sister too. My sister probably likes it. Sorry, Ren. I can only see you as a childhood friend. Huh? I rushed to cover my mouth after I let out a small gasp. It can't be. Ren was dumped? So I still have a chance? My sister ran away awkwardly. I suppressed my happy feelings and tried to call out to Ren. Ren? Oh. Ren looks sad. I mean, after all that, I couldn't speak to Ren that day, since he was way more depressed than I expected. And after school the next day, Ren didn't come over this morning. Well, I wouldn't go to school together with someone who dumped me. Huh? Isn't that Ren? Ren, whom I hadn't seen in a day, was walking a bit ahead of me. His steps look heavier than usual. I'm glad it didn't work out with my sister. But when I think of how Ren must feel, seeing him so sad, I couldn't be truly happy either. I mean, I want Ren to be smiling. I can't bear to watch Ren like that. With that in mind, I pretended not to know anything and decided to call out to him. Ren, you look kind of down. What's up? Reno, you didn't hear? I asked Carrie to be my girlfriend and she turned me down. Really? I could have sworn the feeling was mutual. Uh-huh, thanks. But she can't see me as anything but a childhood friend. I see. Then, I'll help you step out of the friend zone, so that my sister can see you as a man, and not just a friend. What do you mean, help? I've already been dumped. I tap him on the back to encourage him. It's alright. You still have a chance. Leave it to me. I know my sister's taste better than anyone else. After I pretty much forced the promise onto him, I met up with him in his room the next day. 
So why is the special train in place my house? Because if it's my house, my sister will know. Well, I guess you're right. Right? I'll start the special training right away. To begin, sister's favorite types of guys. She likes the smug guys that appear in dating sim games. So let's start by hugging me from behind. It's a back hug. As I faced away from him, Ren let out an awkward voice. Ba back hug? Yes, hurry up. My sister won't like you if you can't do this casually. Oh, uh, okay. Well then... Ren gently hugs me from behind. We were so close that I stopped breathing for a moment. Rino, is this okay? It's okay. Good job. Okay, next. Ah! Rino! I felt so embarrassed and I tried to move away from Ren, but I failed. As I turn around, I lose my balance and I start falling towards the floor. Ren reaches out to me. Ow! Oh! By the time I realized, I was on the floor with Ren hovering over me. So this is the so-called pinning down to the floor. Ren... What? What? This... this wasn't on purpose. Huh? I didn't notice until Ren was freaking out, but the Ren's left hand had rolled up my skirt and my bare thighs were exposed quite high up. I'm sorry. Ren stood up in a hurry and pulled me up. Are you alright? Yeah, that was actually really good. If you do it to my sister, she'll definitely fall for you. Why don't you just keep going after that? I could never. Plus, I don't have a chance to do it. We also have to do special training to create that opportunity. What can I do? I left Ren's side to hide my embarrassment. After that, Ren and I practice and train for various situations. Walk around the city on a pretend date, role play as lovers in the room. But this is tough. I'll fall in love with Ren even more than before. After a certain point, being with Ren turned into pain. I can't do this anymore. With that in mind, I decided to finish the lesson. No more lessons? Yep, you're ready. I'm sure my sister will accept you now. So do your best again. Okay, now go on. Oh, hey. Pushing Ren's back, I run the other way. The next day... I wonder what happened to Ren. She was walking with him this morning, so I wonder if he succeeded. I'm sure he'll go out with her this time. After school, I am on my way home, alone. Aware of my throbbing and aching chest. Then... Reno! R Ren! Ren rushed up to me from behind and stopped me. I hurried to put a smile on my face. How was my sister? She said yes this time, right? Because my lessons were perfect. No, I haven't asked her out. Why? Actually, after thinking about it for a while, I realized I didn't see Kaori as a girlfriend material either. What do you mean? After getting dumped, I had a slight feeling that what I was feeling towards Kaori was more like admiration and respect. I noticed it in the time I spent with you, so... So? I don't want to say this lightly. This reaction, could it be? My hopes are sky high seeing Ren looking embarrassed with a red face. Hey! Hey! Tell me! I wanna hear! I won't go home until you tell me. Oh, okay. I realized that I like you, Reno. I probably kept going on your house to see you, but it looks like I changed my mind soon, so I'm horrible. That's not true. I'm so relieved, because I also like you, Ren. Re really Yes, so there is no problem. <laughs> I'm sure my sister will be happy too. Let's go tell her now. What? You're going to tell Kaori? She'll find out eventually. It's better sooner than later. Ren called out my name as I took his hand and ran ahead of him, pulling him behind me. 